This playthrough is rated T for teen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here, continuing his journey in Oscorp, trying to find Gwen Stacy. Gwen brought us a little present. Oh, who's a good robot? Who's a good robot? Ah, you protect those scientists now, you hear? All right, let's go find Gwen. Well, I wonder which way we should go. <laughs> the big hole it made. Oh, yeah. Okay. There was no point to that, by the way. But thanks. But, 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 but thanks. Ooh, more tech. Can I, can I keep going up, or am I pretty much done? All right, I'm done. Ooh, don't want to forget that. Another magazine. And... Huh. Whoa, whoa. Oh, good. Good thing I fell. Yeah, I, I meant to do that, viewers. I meant to fall down on my uh, rear end, and because uh, I, I knew that was there. What do you mean you don't believe me? What do you mean you need your eyes checked? What do you mean? Ah, whatever. Okay, so... Okay, that does not work. Oh, I can't go up any farther. Ah, I gotcha. This is definitely a weird, uh, weird situation. I'm gonna go back to where the robot uh, jumped off of. I guess I have to go down. Yep, it looks like. Any? Uh, nope, I didn't see any. Wait, did did I go back? Did I go back in circles? Oh my god! Jeez, I can't believe I went around in a circle. What? All right, let's go back, shall we? I must have missed something. Maybe. All right, let's try it again. All right. Come on. There it is. I, I guess I just didn't see that when I was, uh... No, ah, uh, fluffer nutter. All right, do that again. Come on, calm down, Voldemort. You can do it. Don't need to rush this thing. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. That is what they say, isn't it? I can get up there, because there's a secret. Oh, no! Oh, come on, you piece of bird to burn in my burn in my Huh, for some reason I can't get up there from here. I have to, uh. That's kind of weird. Oh, well. Anyway, I won't fall down again. Jeez. At least if I. I hope I don't. Anyway. Okay, good. We did it. <sighs> that just annoys me. I wonder how much I'm missing. Yeah, I pretty much have to go through this level again later on. I keep saying that. I don't know why. I'm like, it's like I'm trying to justify myself, justify myself to you people. I have to justify myself, so do you people. Burda, burda, burda. <laughs> Nothing here, is there? Can I get in there? Nope. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, nothing really going on. Ah, here we go. Gwen, you did it. I'm here now. I, I have the cure, and it works. Gwen? Gwen? No. No, you can't do this. I saved you. I did everything I could to save you. You've got to hold on for me. Gwen! Gwen, you got to fight for me. 
You gotta fight! What? You know that you were the one. When I first saw you in science class, I just wanted to be with you. E even when I promised I wouldn't, I just wanted to love you. I'm lost without you, Gwen. Peter, that is the cheesiest speech I've ever heard. Gwen! <laughs> You're... Alive, and feeling a lot better. The antidote works? <laughs> it sure does. Peter, <laughs> is everything okay? Are you okay is the question. I'm getting better. Good. Just another day at Oscorp, huh? I can't believe you had the strength to reprogram that robot. The newer models still attacked you, though. They must be operating under a different protocol. Smythe probably had something to do with that. Kept enough robots under his command to keep control of the situation. I'm not sure if anyone's controlling this situation. Where's Smythe now? He disappeared after he sent out the SO2, the snake robot, to kill you. I guess Oscorp is reevaluating his job performance. You think we can try and hack through the computer system and shut down the rest of the robots? Uh, Alistair Smythe designed the codes himself. Not likely. Thought you'd say something like that. Well, get some rest. We'll be out of here soon. Man, I'm not sure. I almost, I almost felt uh, sad there for a moment, because, uh, well, I don't know if any of you have read Spider-Man before, but let's just say Gwen Stacy is not a permanent character of that series most of the time. Which, I mean, I don't think this is really a spoiler, but spoiler, I bet she dies in the second movie. I would not be surprised, because I think, as far as I understand it, they're introducing Mary Jane into it. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, so now what do we have to do? Oh, I got Gwen out. Finally, nice. Okay, a little heads up, Gwen. Web slinging indoors is a little different than outdoors. So hold on tight, and we'll be at my place soon. Peter, I'm fine. Gwen, you almost died. You There's need... no time. We need to set something straight first. You mean between us? <laughs> no, Pete. You have enough to do. And people are still in the dark about what really happened here. They think you're the bad guy. How many times are we gonna split up? I need to tell the police what's happened. I know people in the force that were close to my father. They'll listen. J just promise me, if you feel... Pete, I'm fine. Thanks to you. Now go. I have to get home and tell Connors the good news. And a quick shower wouldn't hurt either. Oh, what the... Ah! That is a dick move, game. Just haven't... Just having snipers just on my rear as soon as, soon as I get out. No, 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 don't, don't give me a chance, game. Okay, lock on, lock on. Huh. Funny thing is, as soon as I wake up, they're just gonna be dead, and or dead, they're gonna be gone anyway. Uh, let's see. Spider-Man saved Gwen from the virus and the scientist from angry robots. Connor's antidote works. Yay. Sounds like tweet style. That's all that matters now. I have to tell Connors. He did good. Oh, God. We just sighted another infected. It, it doesn't look that big, but it, it has this sort of, of a giant spike on its tail. Oh, God. Scorpion yes. again. I thought I beat him last time. Uh, let's go find him. Sorry, I gotta collect those comic books while I'm on the way. It's just a bad habit. I should get a subscription. Guess what time it is, Spider Man? Time to gear up. That's right. I found a new secret facility. Am I the best reporter on the entire planet or what? Don't ask for that. You're welcome, by the way. Yes. Thank you, Miss Chang. I will get upgraded. Let's just hope I don't end up with a bullet induced ventilation system. Yeah, thanks, Miss Chang. Uh, reporters. I find them all annoying, you know. Yeah. April O'Neil, you know, uh,. Oh, I forgot. Oops. Okay, you can read that. Anyway. Let's see. 
I'm trying to remember all the famous reporters now. There's a lot of them in, in video games, but uh, most of them I don't like. Ooh. Oh, nice. I'm good with that. Thank you very much. And some tech. Do we have any tech? No, we don't. We don't have to upgrade anything. So, also, where do we need to go? So I need to go fight the scorpion. Well, let's go take care of him, shall we? Get out of the way. Oh, got it. No, oh, come on. We can grab it. We can grab it. Yeah, there we go. All right. I've always been a reader. So let's see. I'm trying to think now. Man, well, the city's getting all, like all green and hazy. I don't know if that's because of the virus or whatnot. I know. I think last time I checked, it said like seven thousand. So that's just a that's just a drop in the bucket for this city. But that doesn't mean that's a problem with big cities. These viruses can uh, spread so quickly due to either airborne or just the claustrophobia or whatever. But that's why I don't like living in big cities. I mean, I live in a decent-sized city, but it's not as big as this by far, let me tell you. I don't think I could live in a city like that. Alright, so I've stepped on scorpions tougher than you. Come on, buddy. Whoa, I was about to say, what the heck? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Is that how you stopped him? No, probably not. There you go. Damn. Whoa. Ah. Hey, you didn't. Uh, I hate when that happens sometimes where he doesn't uh, lock, like, lock on to a place like he's supposed to. Well, make sure. Oh. Oh. Dang. I didn't know I was that weak. I wasn't. I swear. I swear to all that is holy. I don't know what you consider holy, Swiss cheese. I've been bitten. What can I do? Please help. My wife is listening. Please help. Ha ha ha. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. All right, let's skip that. All right, let's start again, shall we? Punch, 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 kick. It's all in your mind. You want to pitch it? You got to get time. Punch, punch. Oh, no, no, stay out of the way, stay out of the way. Ah, I didn't think I could do that. That's a... Uh-oh. Ah, dang. There we go. Ow. This guy's a jerk. What do you got? Ah, fudge. <laughs> Gotta heal myself first. Heal, heal. Oh, there we go. Exhaust you, buddy. With your tail. Here's a question for you folks while I'm fighting the uh, rancorous scorpion. Who's your favorite uh, Spidey villain? Uh, for me, Scorpion's not a bad villain. Uh, Electro's pretty good. I'm probably probably gotta go with the probably gotta go with Green Goblin actually. You know, kind of the first. Really big bad guy. Kind of reminds me of a. Uh, really enough, he kind of reminds me of Batman's Joker, actually. Okay, let's get out of here before I take some damage. There we go. If I were you. 
Nope. No spitty in the face. If you're gonna have gun, make sure to share with the rest of the class, shall we? Anyway, yeah, I, I like Green Goblin. Although, no, no, I take that back. Doc, Doc, Doc. Got, love me some Doc. Uh, I don't know why. I just like, I just like the Doc. And especially in uh, Spider-Man 2 when uh, Alfred Molina played him, I thought he did an exceptionally good job as a, as the Doc. Actually, I think Spider-Man 2 is probably my favorite out of the trilogies. They just did a really good job with it. I thought. Too bad the third movie wasn't as good. It wasn't a, a terrible movie, the third one. I mean, I mean, I think I, I agree with most people that it wasn't a horrible movie. It was just the way that uh, Venom was presented. And apparently, uh, Sam Raimi actually didn't want Venom in the third movie. It was just supposed to be like Sandman, but I guess due to like uh, certain decisions like by the studio or something like that. Ah, jeez, get off the ground. Anyway, I, I guess it wasn't necessarily his decision or something like that happened where he had to use him. Thank God, now he's done for. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go back to the apartment now. Oh, okay. I don't know why it did that, but okay. Oh, I should have taken a picture of Scorpion. Actually, I don't, I don't know. In a boss battle like that, you kind of get that biopic anyway, so I probably don't have to do anything with that. Ooh, more comic books. All right, time to go back to the uh, the apartment now. I think. Uh, double check something real quick. See what's. Huh, I could have swore that there was a. Uh, there was like a, a a place I could go to. Maybe you have to do that before you fight the scorpion. Well, I know at the end of the game you can pretty much go and uh, and do all the missions you miss. So if you miss any side quests, which most of them don't have much to do with the story, except for there's a couple of side quests. Like one, you fight Ver. I think you fight Vermin again. No, you fight Iguana, and then you also fight Rhino again. Apparently, yeah, I, I ran across him at some point. That was that was a little strange. All right, Connors, I got some info for you. I don't know what we're looking for from Connors. I guess we're just gonna try to figure out what the next step is. Doc, the serum works. Gwen and the scientists are saved. What's happening? Have you seen the news recently? They talked of putting the whole island in quarantine. Worried about a global pandemic. I'm trying to macro up my serum before this virus spreads outside of New York. You all right? Do you think they'll ever forgive me? You're about to save an entire city. That helps. Not the city. My family. Everyone will. I'm sure of it. We're gonna get this city back under control. Everyone's gonna be all right. All right, Doc Connors. Oh man, 500,000, almost half a million people. Oh, we better get this thing under control soon. But we'll figure that out in the next episode of The, the Amazing Spider-Man, folks. Thank you all for watching this part and I uh, hope you'll see you in the next stop. Now, Mr. Connors, what have you got to say for yourself this time? Thank God she's all right. Why do I even try?